Cole, this is the first time the Royal Writer Performance has been in Manchester. I know you've spoken before. You've, you've, been, you've been here in Manchester before and you, you really love the place, don't you? I love the people and the fans. The weather, however, <laughs> has not been kind the past few days. <laughs> it's true, it's true. But at least we're indoors tonight, aren't we, for the Royal Writer yes, Performance? Yes, we're indoors. We create our own world and the sun is shining in the theatre. That's for sure. But, um, I do love it here. One of my favorite shows ever with the Pussycat Dolls was here in Manchester. And then I got to guest judge uh, for X Factor um, in Manchester as well. So a lot of great things have happened and now I get to do the Royal Variety here. That's unforgettable. It's a great uh, part of it. Thank you very much. It's a great part of my whole career, you know. Every time it happens, it's such an upbeat. I love it. And is it going to be something new and different that you're going to do this time? Well, it, yeah, something it's something a different. wonderful song written by Alan and Marilyn Bergman and Michelle Legrand. And it's a, a song that uh, many years ago Frank Sinatra was at Royal Albert Hall and I came in to see him and I had no idea that he knew I was in the audience. And in the middle of his, his performance, he started singing this very song that I'm going to do tonight. And he said, Tony, sing this song. And, uh, you know, You'd be getting an awful lot of trouble if you didn't do what he said in those days. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. For, for me, I mean, it's slap play at Wembley, really. You know, it's, it's like a football play at Wembley. It's, uh, you know, for my, my comedy heroes, Les Dawson and Tommy Cooper, people like that, they all, they all played it. and um, So it's, for me, that's how it feels. It feels like this is the, this is the uh, pinnacle, really, one of the pinnacle things of... of uh, in mainstream yeah. comedy. Yeah. Do you think it's a, a little bit of a shame that maybe the, the Queen isn't coming every year now? Well, it's like anything. It's like, I mean, my Nana's coming this year, but even she's going to be knackered like, for three days. <laughs> <laughs> she's the same age. So I think you forget sometimes about the Queen. He's 19, isn't he, Prince Philip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just like anything, isn't it? He's gone, I don't fancy it's December, it's freezing, it's since all for them, 90. And, uh, you know, my, I mean, my nana doesn't even go into town anymore. You know what I mean? So she just uses the coat across the road. So you can sort of see why, you know, I think that's fair enough. And I think you sometimes, because it's the Queen and, and because it's uh, Prince Philip, you sort of just think they're, they're just duty bound to do all these things. Well, I think they're coming next year, aren't they? Is it 100 years of Royal yeah. Variety, I think, next yeah. year? And, and, uh, and they come to the big ones. And I, apparently I've heard that she's asked for the DVD. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so, um, so that's that's nice and uh, but yeah, I mean it's just it's hard, isn't it? I mean I you know it's like in December, I can't be bothered going to places. <clears throat> you know, and I'm thirty. So I uh, no, I think that's fair enough. It's, I just I like to imagine quite a domestic scene of of him saying, I don't really fancy a love and him going, Well, if you're not going, I'm not going, just bring Ann, bring Ann, which is nice family scene, I think. So, uh, no, I, I mean, it's, it doesn't make it any less special, it's still a fabulous show. And, and at the end of the day, and, and not many people talk about it, because it's, it's a charity gig, it's, a, it's the Artist Benevolent Fund, and um, you know, and never know, one day I might need it. So, it's, <laughs>